Alicia, this event is crazy. I mean, there's so many people here that, quite honestly, even our memory card is overheating. I love it. What's it like to see this in in Vancouver, in your industry? Um, you know, I was really looking forward to the party tonight because it's one of the biggest parties that we have in Vancouver at a really great time because it's fall, my favorite season. And it's just really lovely. It's nice growing up in Vancouver and working in this industry, in my community, and looking around and just seeing a lot of familiar faces or competition um, that I still love. Learning their moves. Yes. <laughs> but it's good. It gives that nice vigor back to the city, I think. Um, I shouldn't say back to the city, but it just gives us that nice little kick. We did need a little bit of a pickup. There yeah, was there was a bit of a time where Vancouver was actually doubting itself and the, the films and things that were coming here. But look at us this year. So it's great. Like, it's awesome. I mean, we honestly can't complain. We've yeah. got things like Warcraft. We've got yeah. iZombie, Once Upon yeah. a Time. It's all happening. What are you working on right now? Um, well, I'm actually working on a CW series called Arrow. And I am the new love interest of Oliver Queen. Not a bad job. And that's all I can really say right now. So yeah, the new season starts on October 7th and then uh, you just gotta tune in and catch it and see what I'm up to. But it's been pretty fun. Yeah. And I mean, a show like Arrow, yeah. we are so blessed to have that in Vancouver. It's got such a following to begin with yes. because of the comic books. Yeah. But now bringing it onto a TV series, you've got a whole new following. Yeah. Is it nerve wracking? You know what, it is for me a little bit just because I'm given information very last minute because of the uh, the nature of the work is so sensitive and they don't want to have any leaks and I respect that. So for me it's kind of like exciting and fun on that way and it takes the edge off so I don't really have to conceal any truths. But I think it's more of a challenge because from my side of the table, it's like, do you want to really honor the work from the comic books or do you really want to bring a new fresh flavor to it for TV? And that's something that I think production has been doing a really great job on, just across the board with any CW comic, if you really take a look. So it's kind of fun and it just allows us to play more. And also, if you're only getting a script, say like the day you shoot, yeah. I mean, like you said, not only will you not spoil anything for anybody, yes. But how do you build your character? Well, I think that's where your technique and skill set and training really come in and just really trusting your instincts. And then, of course, doing all that stuff at the end of the table where you have to do your research, do your recon, get your intel, like source it out, do that stuff as an actor that you don't really get trained in necessarily, but you learn as you go. Um, and that's something that I've been really fortunate with in my career that I've kind of figured that out early on from my background and my training and it's been a lot of fun just probing the right people to get information and get details and kind of breaking down that barrier so that I do have a grasp of what I'm working with at the time and then of course having to build that up even perhaps on the day. And it's working for you, you're doing great. Thank you, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I feel like a lot of work is like that though, you got to, you know, hone in on it and then let it go at some point and just play and like trust your intuition, trust your partner. I'm so excited to see what you do with this Thank character. You. Thanks so much. Thank you so yeah, much for too. speaking with me. Thank you.